Hey guys, Dr. Sean here. Hope everyone's doing okay. Well, today we're going to be talking about dry mouth and dental work. One of the questions that came in was how does dry mouth affect dental work? Now, dry mouth, also called xerostomia, occurs when the salivary glands fail to produce enough saliva. This can be caused by environmental factors, not drinking enough water, um, the dryness of the air, but also chronic underlying issues, or even certain medications that patients may be taking. Regardless, dry mouth can cause oral health problems due to low salivary flow that can lead to also the dental work being affected. Now, dental work being affected, this is due to the fact that um, saliva does equalize um, or neutralize the acids that are in the mouth, it does wash away food debris, and just kind of keeps things moving, so nothing's really stagnant. So the oral health issues that it causes could include gum disease, which increased risk of tooth decay and even affect the periodontion, which can result in tooth loss. Also, tooth decay itself. Now, again, without any salivary flow to neutralize the acids, then the acids just stay in the teeth and can start eating away at the tooth and causing them to decay. Another uh, thing that can cause is enamel erosion. When acids are left on the teeth, it can just erode the enamel. All these can affect the longevity of any dental work due to the fact that dry mouth causes the patient to be more prone to dental decay. Now to help increase your salivary flow, you can drink lots of water, do um, take over-the-counter sal salivary substitutes, even sugar-free chewing gum, and also to prevent decay itself, make sure your oral habits are of course um, in check and you're flossing and brushing as needed. Well, there you go. Just a little bit of information on dry mouth and how it affects the oral health and existing dental work. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.